Hello, miss. Thanks to Omega we energy, life's pretty darn efficient, thanks to Shinra. Don't you think so? Yeah, maybe. See how we get by without Mako energy. Whoa, 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 hey, ladies, d don't look at me like that. I, I just agree that life is more convenient now. If we could harness the energy in some other way, I know, solar wind, uh, turbines, whatever, then then we could live the same sort of life without all that killing the world nonsense. I'm not going to just outright lie and say that it's a falsehood that life is more convenient, because life is more convenient to the layperson. Seriously. I don't mask my truths. Now what do you have to say, little girl? Mako Energy's made things a lot more convenient. But it seems like a lot of plants and animals have been disappearing at a rapid pace. I think the old life was better. Don't you think so? No way! Come on! It's progress! That sounds just like what my mom says. Stop giving me those dagger eyes! This is... Did you not listen to my explanation before? Once we stop, once we get to the promised land and completely unplug all of Shinra's plans, then we can go by, make a natural energy source, and live extremely happily ever after without radically altering the way people live. I mean, I didn't necessarily say that it's a good thing that things are more convenient, and the old life being better. Well, can you imagine living the old way? And what does a kid know about living the old way anyway? How long has Shinra been around? I'm I'm just exhausted now. Alright, I'm in another house here. Did you say you came from Midgar? I used to live there too, but I hear they got lots of trouble lately. You are not kidding. I can't think of anything funny to say. Hello, doggy. Oh, hi. Hello, doggy. Hello, doggy. Little doggy. And we have another room. Whoop. And we have another ether. Another ether that nobody is going to miss. Bringing our ether total to... Two. <laughs> well, we're gonna have to start gathering our ethers now. Because once I walk out the door, we are going to find some very special things. I just wanted to get the whole flashback sequence out of the way. Because that's like one of the most bothersome things of starting a new file. There was a suspicious looking man in a black cloak. He was carrying a wicked looking sword. Alright, so we know we're on the right track. And anything over here? No! Ooh, a spiral staircase. Now, Cloud, I know you're traumatized with spiral staircases, but not all of them lead to killer rampages of entire villages. I hope. Received Peacemaker. What is a Peacemaker? A long range weapon. Interesting. And it is a gun. Like a gun gun, not like a Barrett type gun. Who can use this? Oh, we'll keep it on anyway, in case somebody knows how to use a gun. I'm pretty sure we'll run into the party member who uses guns, and not handcrafted guns. Hello there. My older brother's so stupid, he's so embarrassing I could just puke. Whoa, seriously? That's some harsh words coming from a little girl. When I grow up, I'm gonna be a soldier! That's why I'm training hard now! You're training by running around randomly in a room. Good job! And there's nothing else here. But there is a guard source! And. Oh, nope, it's empty. Now it's empty because we took the guard source out. And just. Oh, we have two guard sources now. They raise vitality. So, sources are used to boost the top stats from strength to luck. Those are the naturally occurring stats. Okay. Da da da. Da da ba. Okay. 
Oh, what's under here? My old man was a miner? Yeah, we were all miners at one point, kid. You're still a miner. Oh, you mean, as in working in the mines? Mr. Minecraft Miner. But he couldn't go to work after those monsters started appearing in the Mithril Mine. The mithril Mine, hmm. Now all he does is sit around getting drunk in the bar. So then, who keeps you sustained? Yep, the bar. Hmm, a pretty nice looking bar. With a TV right up here. Can't look into it. Iron terrorists bombed a Midgar reactor. Two, in fact! There sure have been a lot of dangerous accidents recently. I hate it, just hate it. And yet all we can do is sit around and complain, nothing more. Me? I used to work in a coal mine down south called Mithril Mine. But right around then, monsters started appearing. After that, business went to pot. Now I spend the days here drinking. Wow, you should hang out with that boy outside. His father- oh, wait. Mm -mm. Stay out of the kitchen. Whoa, whoa, okay, okay. Seems there was this group called Avalanche running around, but I guess they finally got wiped out by Soldier. Um, That's complete falsehood. But uh, then again, we have Shinra reporting. So yeah, you would hear that. Mm-hmm. And we have a shop. This is the item store. Very nice. Have any grenades? No, we don't. We have potions, phoenix downs, antidotes, eye drops, hypers and tranquilizers. Oh, we have three of those, five of those. We're good on there. Oh, and our one tent. One tent that we always keep around. Potions run us up now. 3,300. Ah, that's not so bad. Yes. Thank you, sir. We have patronized your shop plenty. I am not sure I used that correctly. This is the Materia store. Ah, oh, what are you gonna have to sell? The Earth Poison. They're green, green, green. Oh, look at this. We have more steel materia. And... Yes. Let's get some more steel materia. Because even though the person in the group at the highest level is best able to steal, it the people with the lower levels still have a pretty good chance of stealing, so it makes more sense to have three people running around grabbing things off of enemies rather than just one. This is the weapon store. The weapon store, huh? What do you have? Mithril Saber, Inferior to the Hard Edge, Cannonball, huh, maybe. Mithril Claw, eh. Mithril Staff, Inferior, Mithril Armlet. Hmm. I have a feeling that we're gonna find some better things down the line. Very close down the line. But we can sell off our Mithril Armlets, which are inferior to our Carbon Bangles. Ah, dee 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 dee. Ways or high potions, okay. Oh, we don't need the loco weed. Confusion is very temporary. Mm -hmm. All right, take a little moment to arrange our items here, arrange them by battle, and then give the star pendant to some random person. A Q. Let's see. Battle, and then we customize. So, to the waste of eh, high potion. Uh, potions aren't gonna be used in battle anymore. You'll see why soon. Okay. Ethers are like that. As you can see, the Buster Swords are initial equipping. And for some reason, they cannot be sold or modified in any way. I don't know why Barret and Cloud have this luxury of having initial equipping, while Tifa, Eris, and Nanaki, and pretty much everybody else don't have initial equipping. These just take up your inventory space, like that. However, they do make good place markers between battle items and everything that's supposed to be used out of battle. So, we got 
that person's potions can be moved down after Gatling Gun Peacemaker is down at the bottom away from everything else. Uh, tent is like that, guard source like that. Okay, we've got a nice sorted item list. It's just so nice to have everything neat and tidy. I'm a little bit obsessed with compulsive. A little bit. Alright. There. So, Tifa and Eris are still a little miffed at me by my comments, but I stand by them. Fantastic. So, we can use the PHS to gather everybody together who has materia and stuff to uh, properly allocate our materia count. So, back to the old party. Yeah! And now here's one thing you might be wondering. What, what, what sense does it make for Cloud to be in a party with Barrett and Nanaki, leaving Eris and Tifa all by their lonesome? I mean, he made a promise to her, and he's her bodyguard, but, but, hear me out. By not being in the party, they are not wandering around on the world map. They are in some sort of subspace where characters not in the party are. Therefore, and why did I take them out of the party when they both have the steel materia on them? Ha 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 ha. Oh, I'm silly. So, with Eris and Tifa not in the party, there is zero chance of them being involved in random encounters. You see where I'm, where you see where I'm going with this? Eris and Tifa have zero chance of being in random encounters. That means they are absolutely safe from harm. Yeah, that's what I'm getting at. Eris and Tifa are outside of the party, therefore they cannot get into random battles, and therefore Cloud is keeping his promise to Tifa of keeping her safe and being Eris's bodyguard, letting him, Baird and Nanaki, take all the fights while the ladies just sit around and sip tea or something. Or something. Let's get into a random battle. Uh, dee -dee 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 -doop -doop -doop. Let's go into the whole dead area, the icky dead area. Let's see what kind of counters we can get into. Yes! We have found a back attack! Lovely. This is a Devil Ride. Level 13, 240 HP. Interesting. Ouch. And as you can see, they don't do much damage. And this starts the era of just of just spamming steel on things until the message says otherwise. Fantastic. However, Nanaki has had his limit break, but we can't. But we don't want to use limit break yet until we get whatever the Devil Ride has to offer. By the way. Um, the order that you have your command material in does affect the order that the commands appear on the menu. Ah, Anarchy, you can finally unleash your limit break. Oop, on both of them, we have two high potions to our name now. Yeah! Bam! 240 HP, just like that. Typically, I like to keep party members in my group for as long as it takes them to earn new limit breaks. Yeah. So, the Devil Rides give us high potions, and we can find them in groups. Let's see, I forget who has enemy skill. You have enemy skill! So, we let Steel come before Sense, and Steel appears before Sense on the battle menu. See over there? Steel, 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 Steel. So, these two, so everybody can Steal, these two can Sense, and he can use enemy skills.
Now, what are enemy skills? 